So I have a project that I want to do involving the rocket mass heater. So this was my pocket rocket experiment. We're going to light this sucker up. I think we'll be ready to rocket this pocket. Good morning, y'all. Well, well, yesterday was a nice rainy day. And this morning, we've been getting a bunch of rain. It has been nice. I've been enjoying it for sure. So with all this rain yesterday and today, uh, let's see what we got. Looks like two tenths of an inch. Fantastic. But yeah, beautiful day, beautiful day. Unfortunately, I have to leave and I have to run some errands, pick up some supplies and we have to get ready because there is going to be a huge windstorm coming. So I have a project that I want to do involving the rocket mass heater, but I have to do it before the windstorm comes because <laughs> Uh, once those winds start picking up, uh, it lasts for a while. So we got to calm before the storm and this would be a good time to get it done. So wish me luck. Luckily, I got these things cut last night. I could start assembling the pocket rocket. Got the film crew here. I got just behind the camera. I got the sound guy, Peter, here. Actually, he's running security here. So we don't got anyone bothering us while we're making the pocket rocket. Now we just gotta seal this up and I think we'll be ready to rocket this pocket. <laughs> the most difficult part of this project right here. Okay, this will go inside the barrel. First attempt at a burn, not so well, but uh, could just be because it's a uh, windy day. That might be working against us. Maybe it's best to just wait. We got a big wind storm rolling in tonight into tomorrow and it's supposed to be crazy windy. So maybe it'll be a little bit before we try lighting this thing. I'd like to be working on the uh, pocket rocket, but uh, that is not, that's gonna be a no-go today. If yesterday was too windy, well today, uh, today takes the cake. So far, uh, some of the highest winds we've ever gotten out here, 35 miles an hour plus. Uh, I mean, and gusts probably uh, 50 miles an hour. 
So uh, it is, it's a pretty wild day. The trailers are rocking, so don't come a knocking. But yeah, it's way too windy to try the pocket rocket. Hopefully tomorrow the winds will calm down and I can give that another shot. I'm really excited to get that going. Hopefully I can do that pretty soon. I think it's getting a good burn. The bottom of the barrel is smoking. All right, as you can see, I rounded up plenty of fuel for this fire. I'm gonna uh, take this opportunity to not only clean the barrel, but also to kind of get rid of some materials that have just been kind of collecting over time. Got some water nearby for safety reasons. Okay, so uh, it's kind of windy, so uh, bear with me. I just want to talk a little bit about the different types of burn methods I use here and just what I liked about them. So this was the barrel I did with the pocket rocket. And you actually, you can see it burned like really close to the bottom, but actually kind of left the top a little bit more intact. But it, it did a pretty good job kind of burning a lot of that paint off. So this one here was doing a traditional kind of burn barrel type thing. I just literally set a fire inside the barrel and just let it do its thing. And it maybe took off the top half layer of paint and then uh, left the, uh, the bottom kind of intact. You can see the effectiveness of the two burns. I actually think the pocket rocket did take off more paint than just setting a fire in the barrel. But that was honestly was pretty quick and easy. I'm going to attempt to take off the rest of the paint using the uh, Pro Paint Torch and I want to see how effective that is, how quick that is. So I'll show you guys how that works. So uh, I've just been trying to clean up the excess paint from whatever didn't burn on these barrels with the torch and the torch does work but it is, it's tedious. So uh, I'm gonna definitely give my opinions on uh, the three burning methods so far, but uh, I'm just gonna kind of finish off what I'm doing here and I'll get back with you guys. We're about to retry the pocket rocket. Pocket rocket two. So I'm trying something a little differently. This time I've kind of filled it with uh, grass, weeds, sticks, just stuffed a bunch near the bottom. I got a bunch of stick fuel and we're just gonna see how good of a burn we can get. All right, Jess is out here with me. We're going to, uh, we're gonna light this sucker up. Oh, that should work. <laughs> you can tell it's getting the side of the barrel getting hot. So this was my pocket rocket experiment. Not quite as successful as I would have liked, but it got the job done. Now I've tried a few different burning methods. I tried the pocket rocket a couple of times. I tried just burning things in the barrel, no lid. 
and I tried using the torch. Now the torch was effective, but I would not try to clean a whole barrel with the torch. I mean, that is gonna use a lot of propane and it's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna be annoying. Just letting a fire in the barrel worked well. It took, definitely took off the uh, paint at the top of the barrel, but ultimately over here with so much like dry grass around and especially the high winds we're having, I definitely didn't feel safe doing that. Now the pocket rocket, I do like the best. It seemed to push the heat downward where the regular burn barrel just wanted to keep the heat toward the top of the barrel. So I really like the pocket rocket. I like the fact that it kind of pushes the heat down and gets more of the paint off of the barrel. But ultimately it did not get hot enough to like be super effective. Now clearly that is my fault. I've never really been able to find super specific instructions on building and using the burn barrel. I think I'd make a couple of changes that would make it effective. And that is getting a better seal around where the pipes go in and out of the lid, getting a better seal around the lid. I think that would help a lot. Also just getting plenty of burnable fuel right inside the barrel right on the get-go and making sure the fuel feed doesn't get clogged up. I think that would make the pocket rocket much more effective, really get that heat going. I'm definitely gonna try that again if I need to clean out another barrel. But I got a couple barrels ready to go. That'll be all we need. And I'm ready to move on with the rocket mass heater build. So the reason for burning these barrels is to clean it up. When we start assembling this rocket mass heater, if you have some of that paint on there and you start burning it, it could release some toxic chemicals. So what you want to do is just get that free of the paint and then you can go over it again with uh, some type of like high temperature enamel or uh, finish it off in some other type of creative way just to kind of keep the rust off. So it'll make for a much more pleasant burning experience than having uh, a bunch of toxic chemicals kind of burn in your home. Uh, what is your thoughts on the whole pocket rocket thing? Would you have fun lighting things on fire and burning things? It was pretty fun. I wish the pocket rocket worked better. I almost felt like just having a regular barrel worked a little bit better, but it was, it was kind of scary. All those flames jumping out of the barrel? Yeah, but it's exciting and we got a step closer to having this rocket mass heater built. So make sure you join us as we continue building this rocket mass heater and uh, finish it off, hopefully soon. <laughs> Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, y'all. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye.